Well, this is Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. Our setting this morning, today, in front of my Bible. And I'm asking the Lord, what would you have me say for 10 minutes? Each 10 minutes that I speak. And different things go through my mind. Knowing that these 10 minutes go throughout the world. Knowing this too. The only one that this is for or important to or really means anything to is the one the Lord would direct it to. All of the world can see these, but there's only one person that needs to see it, and that's one God's speaking to through it. If he's speaking to you through it, I'm going to do my best to be able to point you in the direction you need to go that you and your family can be saved. Salvation is this first, the very simple, Faith believing action of saying, I believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, that He came to the earth to shed His blood and die on the cross for my sin. And by faith, I'm willing to accept that and say, I am a sinner, Jesus. Forgive me of my sin. Come in my heart and save me my soul and when you do that you just did what it took Noah 120 years to do you just built an ark and that ark you built by faith was your body saying come into me Jesus and that I won't drown in the water of the world that I won't end up and perish in hellfire forever that I would be saved from hellfire forever you will be in this world until you die but you can be in this world and be saved from this world's system if you continue to follow without Christ in this world ultimately you will die and go to hell forever and be in hell forever the only way to escape hell forever is by being in the ark. But listen to this. In uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them which diligently seek him him. By faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear and prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he commanded the world and uh, became heir of the righteousness of which is by faith. He became a commander of righteousness, which was by faith. It took him 120 years to build that ark. What did he do with that ark when it got built? He not only saved the remnant of animals that needed saving to come over to the new world. After the ark, there was a new world. This was the same old world, but it was renewed again. The animals that he brought, he brought two of each of the unclean and seven of each of the clean. That's why you and I have meat to eat today, because Noah brought seven of the clean. That wasn't the important thing, though. The important thing was Noah <clears throat> worked 120 years building an ark to save his family. Eight people out of a whole world full of people were saved. Noah and his family. Are you interested in your family being saved? Would you be interested 
and your family not dying and going to hell forever and ever and ever in torment and flame and burning and misery and separation from everything and everybody and there is no good thing in the devil none no good thing in the devil zero zilch no good thing in the devil everything in the devil is positively wicked and bad now if you have got saved you're the ark builder you're the one to build the ark for your family and in order to do that Noah had to stay with it every day for 120 years he stayed with it it had not rained up until the time that it rained when the ark came 1600 years of this earth had passed and it had not rained all of a sudden one day after God shut the door he waited seven more days gave seven days grace seven is the number of completion eight is the number of new beginnings on the seventh day God turned the water loose he turned it loose from above and he turned it loose from beneath if you go back and find the story of Noah you'll find out the water came from everywhere and it came and started rising and another thing you'll find out it rose above the tallest mountain on the earth several furlongs above the tallest mountain on the earth do you mean that this total earth was covered with water yes it was and do you know that when God divided in the beginning the Bible said in Genesis the earth was void without form and was covered with water and God took his hand and he took the water from above and the water from beneath he separated and he put a canopy of water over this earth and for 1600 years this earth sat here with a canopy of water over the top of it and then when God decided to rework it he used that water to do the destruction that he needed to have happen and that was to take the breath of all living things on this earth away you remember when God made Adam in the Garden of Eden put him down there he bent down he breathed a breath of life into him well he took that breath back at the flood and that breath came went back from all of those who did not by faith believe that God gave them that breath see Noah found righteous in the eyes of God because he believed God was the one that gave him his breath everybody else in the world in that day forgot that they, they weren't they didn't take any thought that they were breathing air that they were breathing a breath and that when you start breathing you're dead and what stops you from breathing and when your head's on the water you can't breathe you I get water in your lungs and the human body is finely and fitly put together and it's not designed for water to be in the lungs when water gets in the lungs you drown it now have you been saved are you preparing an ark for your family are you an example Noah was such an example for his family they all were saved but the rest of the people laughed at him uh, and if you're gonna follow Jesus Christ you're gonna have people laugh at you first people are gonna be your friends when you say Lord I forgive me I'm a sinner your friends are gonna say where you gone where you a holy Joe now religious than me now what's the deal and they're gonna forsake you and you're gonna have some of that but you're gonna inherit eternal life nowhere in his family inherited eternal life because he by faith followed the Lord Jesus Christ and by faith you can do the same thing my friend if you care to just ask him to save you get started today so that your family and those around you can follow on and be saved too. Get in the book, the Word of God, the Bible. Stay in the book. 
Don't get out of the book. 